Okay, this is a video on integration by parts. Uh, it's an interesting integration technique that we can use when we're faced with an integration involving a product of terms, two functions in x, for instance, multiplying together that we can't simplify into one term. For instance, if we were to think about the integral of the, the function x times sine x with respect to x, we don't have a system in all of the integration that we've covered so far. We don't have a method that would allow us to do that. We do have something that kind of connects to that, and that is our knowledge of the product rule. For instance, we learned earlier on how to differentiate a function such as x times the sine of x by splitting it up into two different terms. We would maybe apply uh, x as u and sine x as v. Um, we had a lot of formula that we could use, u dash v plus uv dash, which helps us to construct the derivative. And we can apply a very similar process to integrate a function in this way. We're going to split the two functions up, the two parts up, and we're going to give it a letter, and we're going to apply a formula, and that will help it. So we'll, we'll see where we're going with this. We actually derive the, uh, the, pro the this rule from the product rule, as I've mentioned. So the product rule looks a bit like that when we're using function notation f of x and g of x. The derivative of a product of terms f of x, g of x, is, and the right-hand side, is the derivative of one term multiplied by the other function plus the derivative plus the other function multiplied by it, the derivative of the second. So we would normally think of that as u dash v plus u v dash. Okay. So what we can do is we can think about integrating that expression. And if we do that, then because the left-hand side is the derivative of f of x, g of x, to integrate a derivative means we just return back to the original function. So we're, we're left on the left-hand side with f of x, g of x, and we can integrate the right-hand side in two parts because it's split up into ad an addition of terms. The first term is uh, the integral of f dash, the derivative f dash x times g of x, and the second integral is f of x g dash x. And all we're going to do just now is rearrange it just so that one of those terms on the right hand side is the subject uh, of this particular formula. We're going to take the last term, the integral of f of x g dash x with respect to x, and we've got the other two terms now uh, forming a difference equation here. So all we've done is rearrange that very slightly. We haven't, we're not integrating in because we don't know what any of the functions are. But what we can do is rewrite this in terms of u and v. So for instance, if I were to say the function f is u and the function g was v, then the left-hand side would be the integral of u v dash. And the right-hand side would have u times v minus the integral of u dash v dx. Okay, so it actually makes it a little bit easier to remember when we use u and v notation, and so that's what we end up with the integral of uv dashed with respect to x is equal to uv minus the integral of u dash v with respect to x. That's a formula that you're expected to uh, remember, but as you use it hopefully over and over, uh, you will. Uh, remember that and then you'll memorize it. Okay, so let's use it. Uh, there's an interesting thing here is that the function or that we're going to the integral we're going to get given, we are assuming that one part of it is going to be a function u, which we're going to later on differentiate to over on the right hand side. But the second part of it, we're actually going to nominate as a function that's already been differentiated. In other words, to work out the function v on the right hand side, we're actually going to have to integrate whatever we call v dash. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, example 26. The, there is a slight choice that you have to make as to which term becomes u and which becomes v dash. And it stands to reason 
you can only pick a function v dash if you can actually integrate it. Then we'll find out that some can't be integrated. And most of the time, if you find a term in x, if you've got a polynomial expression, then we really want to take that as u. So your first choice would be if you've got a polynomial expression, for instance, x or x squared or you know, a power of x, then make that u as much as you can. Okay. So here we've got uh, an example, the integral of x cos 2x with respect to x. So we've got two parts to it. We've got the x part and then we've got the cos 2x part to it. So what we're going to decide is, here's a polynomial. Uh, so that's going to be my u term. u is equal to x in this case here. And the other term is v. Now v is... Uh, v dash, sorry, that is easily integrated. Cos 2x, we can easily integrate, so that's not a problem. V dash is cos 2x. Okay. So, going back to the formula, at some point we're going to need to know u dash, or the derivative of u, which in this case is just 1. And at some point we're going to need to know the original function v. Now, be careful here because in the product rule and the quotient rule, we're used to always differentiating. However, in this particular case, in order to get v, of course, we're going to have to integrate because we've defined v dash, the derivative, as cos 2x. To get the function v itself, we have to integrate that. So we can write that as an integral um, calculation and then write down the answer. The integral of cos 2x is sine 2x. But we have to remember that cos 2x is a composite function. So using the chain rule, the derivative is of 2x is 2. Because we are integrating, we don't multiply by 2. We divide by 2, which is easiest uh, represented by a half at the front. We normally write down plus c when we're difference, when you're integrating. In this case here, we're not going to use it straight away. And I'll point out to you in a moment why. So there we go. We have u, u is x, v dash is cos 2x, and we have worked out two other uh, values, the derivative of u and also the function v. So we can go back to our original problem, which said that the integral of x times the cos of 2x with respect to x. Now, what I can do here is I can rewrite that in terms of my integration by parts. Remember what that said? It said that the integral of u v dash dx is equal to u times v minus the integral of u dash v dx. Okay, So u v dash dx is the original integral, which means that we're going to replace that with u v minus the integral of u dash v dx. What are those bits? Well, we've worked them all out on the right-hand side. u uh, is x, and v is a half sine 2x. Now, we're not going to put in the plus c just yet. Minus the integral of u dash, which is 1, multiplied by v, which we've actually already used, which is a half sine, I'm get, move this wee thing over, a half sine 2x dx. Okay, so I've substituted in the four uh, different parts, u and v, u dash and v into my expression. Now I can simplify it a little bit before I do that last integration. So the first product of terms here, I can't really do anything with. I can rearrange that with the number at the beginning. That's about it. And what we would normally do if there's a, a multiplier here, obviously 1 isn't going to change anything, but there's a half there. So I've got negative a half, and I'll just write this the integral of sine 2x. Dx. And we always need this integral here to be an integral of one term in x. The whole point is that's the only way we can really integrate anything is if 
we've already got a rule for it. So we need to evaluate that. It's quite good to actually do this at the side, uh, do it as a little bit of side working, and then substitute it back in. So the integral of sine 2x with respect to x becomes negative cos 2x multiplied by the derivative of 2x, which is 2, so not multiplied, divided by, and that becomes again a half, negative a half, cos 2x. And this is when we use the plus c. We only introduce the plus c now because this is the last integration that we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to substitute negative a half cos 2x in to our calculation. So it's a half x sine 2x minus a half times, put your bracket in because we're multiplying by negative a half. We've got negative a half cos 2x. Now the plus c actually doesn't really form part of that multiplying. It's just a constant at the end. So don't get it caught up in all the multiplying by negative a half. And we can multiply out that bracket by saying negative a half multiplied by negative a half is plus a quarter. So it's plus a quarter, two co cos 2x, and plus c. And there is our answer. So the integral of x cos 2x dx is equal to a half x sine 2x plus a quarter cos 2x plus c. Okay. It's a whole process that you need to just to get to grips with. There's a formula that you can use, and the integration and the differentiation itself is not too complex, and that allows us to integrate a product of uh, terms in x. Okay? There's another example, 27. Check that one out as well, and then you can practice a bit yourself.